everybody and Zer is back in the tower to give us some more goodies. So in this video I'm going to be going through what he has for sale and I'm going to be going into more detail about the ones that you should definitely pick up. So the first thing that he is selling is no backup plans which is an exotic arm piece for titans. It's going to increase the duration of force barrier, increase melee attack speed, and increase the reload speed of special weapons. Next up we have the ATS-8 arachnid which I don't recommend you guys get whatsoever. I just I just don't. It's not good. It makes your golden gun shot miss if anything. It's just, I just don't like it. And then we have the star of the show, which is Heart of the Praxic Fire. This is the one that I'm going to be going into more detail about and showing you gameplay while using because it has Praise the Sun, which further decreases all ability cooldowns while Radiance is active. So I'm going to be showing you guys gameplay of me using that so you can see exactly how it works. And for the weapon, we have Universal Remote, which I love. I love this weapon. I think it's awesome. If you want to know more about Universal Remote. I did a less loved video on it, so I will leave that video in the description because it gives you a full review of it. You get a butt ton of gameplay of Universal Remote, so you can figure out if you personally want to pick it up for your arsenal. Now, I think the fact that Zer is selling Heart of Proxic Fire this week is hilarious because the other night I was laying in bed and I was thinking about Zer. That might seem a little weird, a little lame, but you know, I was thinking, I wonder what Zer is going to be selling this week. And I thought these were my exact thoughts. I bet Zer is going to be selling Heart of Proxic Fire because last week he sold the exotic chest Ingram. And I know a lot of people really wanted this chest piece. I was one of them. I knew a bunch of people that also wanted the chest piece. So a bunch of people spent their moats getting the Ingram to try and get this exotic. Now I spent all of my damn boats and I had a good amount of moats and I didn't get this chest at all. So I thought Zer is a troll, right? Zer is the master troll of the universe. So it would make sense that he would sell a chess piece that everyone really, really, really wanted and spent all their moats trying to get the week after they spent said moats trying to get this exotic. And that's exactly what he did. So in the future, for future reference, the most troll thing that Zer can do is what Zer will do. Because I was right. I read him like a book. It's like he's a real person trolling us all. Hmm. <laughs> so let's actually talk about this exotic chest instead of me just talking about my weird thoughts that I have at night. So the reason that I really, really, really wanted this exotic is because when I do play my warlock, I prefer being a sunsinger over being a void walker. I just enjoy that playstyle a lot more. And what Heart of Proxic Fire does is it reduces your cooldowns even further when you radiance. So if anyone's not aware, when you use radiance, which is the super for the sunsinger, it reduces your cooldown, so you get to use your grenades more, you get to use your Scorch Melee more. Now what Proxic Fire does is it reduces it even more. So basically, you get to the point where you can throw a grenade whenever the animation allows you to. It's basically as close as that. So you throw a grenade, 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 grenades for everybody. That's what it does. And you can just melee people very, very frequently super frequently, which is awesome because the Scorch Melee when you're Radiance is a one-shot kill. So I really, really wanted this chest Ingram. I wanted it so bad. I know a lot of people are rejoicing. I know that I am. I spent all my moats. I didn't get it. I got like three Lucky Raspberries, which was not fun. And then I got like Alpha Loopy. I'm like, oh. So I'm really happy to have this chest piece. I think it's awesome. I had saved all of my bounties for my warlock, specifically for this reason, because I thought Zer was gonna troll me by doing this. It's kind of like a good troll and a bad troll at the same time. Like I wasted all my moats, but I do have the item that I always wanted. So yeah, I saved all of my bounties so that I could turn them in when I got this chest and I could have that upgrade immediately. So I went into the Crucible and I was not disappointed by this chest at all. It does exactly what you expect it to do. You can throw grenades just all over the place. Grenades for everyone. And it's so good in control, like so good. You can see that someone's taking a flag and you can just run there, pop your radiance and just throw grenades all over the place. And you don't even have to put yourself in danger. You don't even have to get close to them because you can just throw grenades from a distance. You can pop out from behind cover and just throw grenades. It's really good for getting rid of people who have heavy ammo because you don't have to put yourself in danger. You can throw grenades at them and it will kill them. Your two grenades of your fire. Firebolt grenade will 
kill them. So I really, really love this chest. I highly recommend, highly recommend the two guys get it. Even if you don't have a warlock, like you do not, you have not created. It does not exist. Your warlock character guy does not exist. I would still recommend that you pick it up for whenever you do get a warlock because it's a, it's one of the best. It's one of the most sought after for a reason and it's one of the best that you can get for your sun singer. So I highly recommend that all of you do pick it up. So I'm not really going to talk about the other exotics that Zer is selling. The Titan one is, it's okay, it's pretty mediocre. I think there are better ones. And the helmet for hunters, I thought it was okay for a second because I used it on Sky Shock and I was like, oh, this is actually pretty decent. I can see why I could use this. But no, it zooms in way too far for pretty much every single map and it's just gonna get you killed more often than not. So I don't recommend that you get it unless you just wanna add to your collection. And Universal Remote, everybody pick it up. Everybody, everybody. Everybody become an awesome person and use Universal Remote, be awesome. Check the video description for a link to my last love video to learn about Universal Remote. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you are enjoying Zur as much as I am, and I'll speak to you guys later. Bye.